Today we are going to be watching two of the most talked about teams, I suppose you could argue in Scotland, but certainly in the Lowland League. It is Open Goal Broomhill, who are obviously managed by Cy Ferry. They've also got Slaney as a coach, as well as a few of the other um, podcast guests and hosts involved with the club. They obviously play at Broadwood Stadium. We've been there a few times this season. Their documentaries have been fantastic and a real good insight into life in a football team within the Lowland League. Today they play Rangers, Rangers B, one of the most talked about teams within this league, along with like Celtic and Hearts, I suppose. It's been quite a contentious one having those teams in the Lowland League, but I'm all for it. I think it brings eyeballs to the league. I'm really interested to see how Open Goal Broomhill get on against Rangers B today. Open Goal Broomhill are eighth in the table, Rangers B are fourth in the table. There's quite a few teams who have played a different amount of games, so um, things could obviously change as the season goes on. Um, but it's interesting to to see these games because Open Goal Broom Hill are obviously a part-time team full of lads who have probably been at work today and are probably at work right now as I'm filming this but then they've got to go and play football later on whereas Rangers, Celtic and Hearts within the Lowland League, the B teams, they're probably all just training all the time. I know they're young lads who might have exams and that kind of stuff as well and studying to do alongside it but I think they're more focused on the football than what necessarily the Open Goal Broom Hill lads would be um, during the week. So should be a really, really interesting one. Please do hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Let's get down to Broadwood Stadium for Open Goal Broomhill against Rangers B. I'm a busy guy and I've been trying to stay really healthy at the front end of this year in January. And a massive thank you to Y Food for supporting me in 2023 so far. Y Food have saved me so much time and so much money through their fantastic drinks and their fantastic bars as well. But not just that, they are really, really healthy and they are keeping me on track with my fitness and health goals in 2023. It's become a bit of a ritual for me to bring along one of the bars to a game. I'll grab a coffee and I'll have it with that. And it's really, really nice and it stops me from going for a pie or something at most games. Um, I will treat myself occasionally, but yes, for the most part, I am trying to stay healthy at the front end of 2023. So a massive thank you to Y Food. If you, like me, are busy and trying to stay healthy, then do check out the top link in the description box below and the pinned comment um, and bag yourself some Y Food. Do remember to use the discount code that is on screen right now and you will get yourself 10% off when you purchase your Y Food. Thank you so much, Y Food, for supporting me on my journeys in 2023. God, the weather here is appalling today, as it is um, quite often here when I come to Broadwood. It's usually freezing cold, um, but an interesting game today because Rangers B are playing here as the away team, but Rangers women, you may be able to see a little bit of the uh, Rangers sign in that little walkway over there, that's because Rangers women actually play here too. They use it as their home ground as well as Cumberland Colts and as well as the team we'll be watching as the home team today, uh, Open Goal Broom Hill. Firstly, how have things been going this season with the documentary? We've been talking about it off camera a little bit there. Um, I know it's been good, I think it's been, as I said to you there off camera, it's going to be a bit different for the boys and maybe not used to that exposure in the changing room and, and that sort of thing going on, but I think when the, the, the officials have come out they've been quite insightful and kind of showed, showed the good sides of what the gaffers do with the club and yeah. how the club's progressing, so it's only good for the league I suppose that's the exposure. And playing Rangers B tonight, do you think it's um, tougher coming up against these teams because they're obviously not working like a lot of the team <laughs> um, squad would be I here know, all day? I'm not grafting all day then coming out to play football, obviously. These lads are young, young pros, and you can see when you play them, they're so sharp. And yep. we had Celtic here a couple of weeks ago, and how quick they are off the ball, and the way they press, and their kind of rotations. You can tell they've worked on it. But I think for a team that, that what comes together two days a week, we've gelled quite quickly and, and do that quite well as yep. well. So you're always looking forward to going and kind of putting your putting your wits against these guys, and, and hopefully seeing what we can do. We're just over halfway through the season now. Yeah. How would you say your first season in management has gone? Um, I have enjoyed it. I really have enjoyed it. The boys have been absolutely excellent for us. There's been a couple of things maybe outside of them that's that have, that have not been the way I wanted to do things, but um, they've been excellent. Um, even kind of looking at the recent results, people think, oh, they're struggling, but we've actually played really well. Yep. I think we went to East Coast right away, who are up the top. Um, I thought we were a better team. We went to Spartans away, I thought we were a better team. Missed a penalty in the last minute. Um, certainly Kier, certainly got better miss. They deserved a victory on that day. Um, but in terms of the boys, they gave me absolutely everything. Uh, we've been unlucky a couple of times here and there with injuries. Even the night Cookie's injured, he missed a penalty in the last minute. He comes yep. in, boots a bag, and 
Kip Ross puts back in bags or and breaks his toe. So oh, they're, they're kind of things that have just happened. Gaz Fraser gets sent off at the end of the Celtic game, so we're missing him the night as yep. well. So we've missed key players in key games. So that's kind of that's um, that's that, that 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 that's happened too many times this year. Um, but we know for the best living on the pitches. I'll, I say them every time we can. We're more than a match for any team in this league. Of course. And today it's obviously Rangers B. You've yeah, played yeah. a few games against the B teams now. What would you say the difference is playing against them compared to the other teams in the league who are semi-pro or part-time? Sorry, like you. For me, it's like Rangers are the best two teams in the league by a mile in yep. terms of organisation, in terms of patterns of play, in terms of rotations, in terms of the fitness levels, in terms of the quality and individual mm -hmm. players. So yep. these are tough games. Nah, they're tough games. I think it suits them as well because we've got the big, massive park. Maybe when they go away, Trinent and other places like yep. that, it's tough for them because it's such a. But I think there's pitch. Obviously, their players kind of come in the set and. Uh, enjoy it so again we need to be on the top of our game yep. but if we're not at it tonight then I have no doubt it'll be a long night but I also believe that we're made capable of competing if we believe if the boys truly believe and we go out and we're at it then I think we can, we can give them a right good game and expecting a big crowd tonight as well then well I, I, I was hoping for a big crowd but Again, another the weather. Uh, the weather's just it's grim, isn't it? Can I get, uh, can I, we can I get a break, mate? So I think there's been about 500 sold online. Um, yeah. So we usually get more through walking. So fingers crossed that the weather kind of stays away and we can get a few people. Grant, obviously you are well. You got your Bonnie Rig Rose hat on, I have indeed, yeah. but you're also obviously a Rangers fan. Um, is there any players in the Rangers B team tonight that you're looking forward to seeing? I've not seen the team. Um, I seen them against Spartans a few weeks ago, where there wasn't many big hitters, but. I was hoping Lowry would be playing tonight, but I think he's on his way out, so maybe not. I've not seen the team, like I say. Lovelace, another one who I wanted to see a few weeks ago, but he wasn't playing, so hopefully he's playing tonight so I can get a wee club to him. Yeah. But You're yeah. never sure in these games, are you, who's actually going to play? Nah, you don't know. You think to yourself, all right, we could have a good chance here tonight, but then they play more under 18s rather than under 20s, so yeah. And have you been to many open goal Broomhill games before? Um, I've seen them twice this season. I've seen them here once against Brora when they won in the cup. And then I've seen them at Trinette where they got beat 4-0. Okay. Um, so yeah, they've been up and down, but their home form is definitely better than their away form. James and, and James as well. Oh, James and James uh, Jr. Nice, yeah, I like it. Big James, wee James. So, two Rangers fans, I take yeah. it. What brings you to the game today then? Um, basically, getting a look at some of the young boys at Rangers. Yep. Yeah. And is it more to see the young boys at Rangers or are you fans of the Open Goal I channel both, as well? I watch yeah. the Open Goal as well, so I yep. both, but, but it boils down to it, we're Rangers fans. I see, so you want Rangers to win today. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you think the score's going to be today? 4-1 uh, Rangers. 4-1, oh, he's going four, he's going big on yourself. 2 though. I am with. <laughs> the manager of Darvel, mate, you've done the rounds over the last uh, few weeks since the Aberdeen game, I'm sure. Saw you on the Open Goal podcast as well. How have things been since the result against Aberdeen? Uh, busy, bit hectic, bit surreal to be honest with you. Yep. But it's hard to settle down a wee bit this week, so back to a bit of normality. Yep, and here today to, um, you were just telling me you were chatting to Sai early on and seeing Open Goal Broom Hill play today. Have you seen them play at all this season? I've been to see them twice this year. I say he's a good mate of mine, so we were having lunch today. Uh, I said, come along and watch them. I seen them against East Bride. I thought they were excellent. They drew on that night though, but they were very, very good. So I'm excited to see how they do against Rangers tonight. Yeah, how do you reckon they'll get on? Because obviously Rangers, their lads aren't going to have to like be at work today grafting, I guess, like a lot of the, the Broom Hill guys will, right? So. I think, to be fair, I think, I think they'll probably make a good account of ourselves. Sai plays really open, expansive football, so I think it'll actually be a good spectacle to watch, to be fair, so I'm looking yeah. forward to it. So we're about to kick off here, we have kicked off, Bobby Earth for Rangers, and a good crowd here tonight, look at that. Be interested to see how many people are actually here. It's got to be in the thousands at least, you've got to say, but yeah, good turnout for a Lowland League game. So Grant at the back there, captain for Open Goal Broom Hill, Kirk Broadfoot, Red Kirk, playing yeah. against his former club, sort of. I would say, yeah, because he got to the UEFA Cup final. Of got to the UEFA Cup final of Rangers, and now he's playing against Rangers B as the captain of Open Goal Broom Hill. Who's that, Robbie? Yeah. He's a good player. I feel like I've seen him play once or twice before. He scored at Ibrox already this season. So. Was that in the. As he's pinned the South of the Cup. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. So he's already played in the first team. Now he's scoring against Open Goal Boom Hill. Oh, that scares. Oh, so.
so I'm a man for and I'm a student journalist at City of Glasgow College and I also write for the Celtic Underground. Yep, and so we met at Celtic B v Rangers B yeah. and we're here today at Open Goal Broom Hill v Rangers B. What do you think of the B team's been in the Lowland League? It's, it's good for the other teams in the league. It's getting more eyes in the league. Yep, more and exposure. Now open Goal, the popularity that they've brought to the league as well. Yep, it's good. It's and what overall thought of today's game, game then? Not really any chances from Open Goal. It's very dominant from Rangers. Can't see anything past the Rangers win. Who are you here supporting today then? Broomhill. Broomhill? Rangers. Rangers? Who invited him, eh? Hello. <laughs> and so, do you lads watch the Broom, uh, the Open Goal podcast then and like the YouTube channel? Or? Yeah. Something. You do? Yeah, yeah, nice. And um, what have you thought of today's game then? It's half time currently, isn't it? Yeah, Rangers have been dominant. I feel like if they really like turned the screw, they could go and score a few more. I'll start around here. What's the final score going to be? 3 uh, 1. 3 1. Three, one. Probably just 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil, you reckon? 2-1 two one, two one. Two one to, uh, to Broomhill. 2-1 Broomhill. Broomhill. 2-1 Broomhill. Right, we've restarted it and there's no scoreboard today. And there was no music either, was there? <laughs> um, before the game or at half time or anything, so must be a bit of a problem with the lecky today because of this. Look at that. Two going for it. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a ball. Oh, what a strike. One all. Oh, there you go. There they are. I think they've come out better in the second half, yeah? Yeah, second yeah. half. They've been a better team. They've went yeah. forward more. They're creating chances. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you reckon? I've took had a bit of half team chart wise because yeah. there's been some difference. Yeah, I wonder what Sai said to him half time. 1 0. He was the man that you were most excited to see here that. today, I'd say. I said, I've never seen him before play, but I knew that he had something special about him. That finish was brilliant. Oh, oh save. <sighs> Brock Watson, formerly of Celtic. Oh. Brock. Oh, too many bodies. Brock again. Oh. Oh, they certainly deserve it. They've been so good today. They've not given up today, Oakville Broomhill. And look at them, they're loving it down on the bench. There's definitely a problem with the electrics in here today because they've not announced any goals, they've not announced the attendance or played the music when they've scored, but 2-2 two, two here. Oh. I think they deserve that? Yeah. Yep. Definitely. They've done well second half, haven't they? Yeah. Especially how dominant Rangers were in the first. I think that Open Goal Broomhill will be really, really happy with the way that game ended. The first half was really, really dominant for Rangers, and it seemed like in the second half they just need to come out, do much the same, and maybe they'd break Open Goal Broomhill down and score maybe two, three, four. But it didn't end up that way. I don't know what Cy Ferry said to them at half time, but it seemed to have worked. They turned it around, made it one all. Rangers then made it two one. A fantastic finish as well, wasn't it? Um, from Zach Lovelace. And then a late goal. It must have been in stoppage time. Again, there was no music, there was no announcements, there was no scoreboard in the stadium today. I think there must have been an issue with that. But um, yeah, so I don't know like what time the goal went in, but it seemed like it was really, really late on in the game. It wasn't long after that that the referee blew up for full time. 2-2. Two, two. How many games have we seen this season in the lower? in league that like 3-2, 2-2, 4-0, 4-1, get some amazing scores in the Lola League. Another fantastic night, if not absolutely freezing at Broadwood Stadium. A huge thank you for watching. Please do remember to hit that like button and remember to check out today's sponsor, Y-Food. Top link in the description box below and the pinned comment. Thank you so much, Y-Food. Thank you so much, you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.